What's up, y'all? We out here as we all just seen the Niners is going back to the Super Bowl. Woo! It's been a long year coming. Well, let's hear my instant analysis. Let's get right to it. Welcome to Showtime 49. Showtime 49. All right, y'all, we back. Oh, my goodness. Was that not the tell of two halves? I mean, you can kind of feel it, but then you couldn't feel it at the same time. Because, I mean, it was pretty small amount of Niner fans that was feeling good at halftime. You know, I, I can say there was a few people out there that was that had a little more confidence than most other people. But, I mean... What we just saw, what we just witnessed, was one of the greatest comebacks in NFC Championship history. Man, Christian McCaffrey. I mean, this this has to go down as one of the, the best all-time Niner trades in the history. Because, I mean, his impact on the field, the things that he does. I mean, the way he puts us on his back at times is unbelievable. And I just honestly couldn't imagine us even being close close to this point without Christian McCaffrey. First, I just need to say that. Thank you for your hard work, my guy, because it it was clearly necessary tonight. But I got to talk about Brock Purdy. Now, honestly, before today, I'm going to keep it a buck. He hasn't really had a good playoff game yet. They've been average, so-so. Uh, all right. Last week, he led a comeback drive which is what we all wanted to see, especially me. People like me, we wanted to see Kim Brock Party lead a game-winning drive, you know, because they give him a lot of Joe Montana comparisons, but Joe Montana was known for game-winning drives, you know, making comebacks. That's what he was known for. Brock Party was not known for that. He's known for keeping good leads and looking great while doing it. Last week, he showed us something different, which was good. To me, that's good for our confidence. That's good from a team standpoint. Shoot, that's good for Kyle Shanahan's head. Knowing that, hey, if I'm losing in the fourth quarter by more than five points, I can win a game. <laughs> but, hey, that was last week. Brock did what he needed to do, and it turned out great for us. But then this week happened because there was still one more thing that he hadn't done. That was big to me, which was a game when we actually came back. Last week really wasn't a comeback. It was a close game, a hard-fought, gritty game. That's what last week was. This week? We was getting smacked in the biggest game of the year because clearly every game that you advance to the playoffs is the biggest game of the year. But we was getting smacked, and it wasn't looking good. Our oh, our defensive line. We just couldn't stop the run. I mean, we almost gave up 300 yards in total offense in two quarters. That's what we almost gave up. It was like 280 something. That's terrible. I, I just don't understand. I didn't understand the game plan with the defense. Like everybody knows that Jared Goff, when he when you put pressure on him, he's not the greatest quarterback. But if you're gonna allow him to sit back there and have time and stand tall in the pocket and use his arm and everything, of course he'll pick you apart. We weren't getting any pressure. I just I didn't I didn't understand it. It to me it was like, man, we're not getting any pressure. And on top of that, we weren't able to even stop them on the run i mean they gashed us i mean that was it's been multiple weeks in a row we've given up so many rushing yards like over 100 plus rushing yards in the first half like what are we doing at one point they had three rushers that had more than christian mccaffrey before he started putting us on his back and started doing what he's doing but brock purdy though like i said today we came back down 17 and it was tied in the same quarter brock purdy he was taking that ball running brock purdy with the legs really yes yes really he showed us that this, i'm gonna give it everything i got y'all been showing me love all year it's been a lot of hate on him all year 
coming from me, coming from everybody else. You know, it's, it's been coming from all angles. And Brock is still stood in there, took every test and every challenge, and he stood in there and he made it happen still. He did literally whatever he could. He would run left and jump and throw back right. You know, he did have a bad pick, but it was like the ball got tipped again. He's a little guy, you know. It seems like his, the balls get tipped all the time, Paul. But my guy did amazing today. Like, he showed all will, all heart, all effort. I saw that today. And then he started throwing dots in the second half. Now, as I'm transferring to this offense here, now the first half, I just don't understand the initial game plan. How we got down like that. They're good against the run. And they're not so great against the pass. So we run? <laughs> I just I, I just didn't see it. Like, I mean, we was averaging like two yards a carry. So why wasn't why didn't we switch the game plan up and let Brock do his thing? Okay, cool. Halftime comes. This is where I have to give props now. Because for once, Kyle Shanahan adjusted. Hey, we're playing against a team that's good against the run. Oh, let's pass. Wow, what an option. It's there. Let's do it. Cool. We finally run. We finally start passing the ball. Boom. Brock's taking shots. Brock's starting to get hot. He start cooking. Like, Brock can catch a stride and then start throwing dots everywhere. And we started to see that. We started to see what we had been seeing so much during the season. We started to finally see it. And it came in the second half, but hey, I'm just glad that the time arrived. I'm glad the moment came because I did not want to be sitting here with an L on my shoulder. No, not not at all. Didn't want to be doing that. But instead, we sitting here with a W because we on our way to the freaking Super Bowl. Like, let's stand up for that. What a season. All the drama we didn't went through from Trey Lance to Jimmy G leaving and going to the Raiders to Brock Purdy to, to Sam Darnold, all the stuff, all the, the Eagles back and forth slander and all the talk and what should have been, what could have been, what it is, uh, smacking them in the mouth, getting smacked in the mouth by the Ravens who then turn around and lose today. What a season. And here we are, two weeks away from the Super Bowl. And we are in it, our rematch, our rematch. And we always said, if we had a better quarterback, we would have won that game. Well, now we have a better quarterback. And they have less playmakers, but a better defense than they used to have. So we're going to find out what it's all about. But we're not worried about that today. Today. <laughs> we gonna celebrate this win, baby. We gonna celebrate this win, cause how often do we get a chance to go to the Super Bowl? How often? It's our eighth time. Eighth time. Celebrate. We gotta enjoy it. We still got two weeks. Let's enjoy this, faithful. We out here. Thank you, Brock, for showing us exactly what we needed to see. Now we have seen. You win us a clutch, grimy, gritty game. And we've also seen you just in the next week bring us back from down 17 in the second half, and you did it in one quarter. One quarter. The defense, of course, they had to finally show up in some plays. Something had to go our way. It's finally started to go our way. Finally. Finally, it started to go our way. And that is exactly what we needed. Thank you, Brock. Thank you. You showed everything that we needed to see. Now it's not going to feel as weird when we're in a game against the Chiefs. Like, oh, man, we're down. You know how we play when we're down? We don't know now because we've seen both sides. We've seen it in the most at the most important time, at the biggest stage. We've seen Brock Purdy come through for us. It may not have been the prettiest games, but he got the win, a gritty win and a comeback win. Those are my questions, and he answered them. In the playoffs. In the playoffs. Thank you, my dude. But I can't fully go all the way through because we need this ring. We need it. Getting here ain't enough. But like I said, we celebrating the night. 
I'm gonna holler at y'all in the next one. Let's go!